Hey Cleveland.com, meteorologist Kelly Reardon here on the radar this week, Northeast Ohio's wineries. Because of the lake, we have a great variance in weather, from super cold one week to really warm another. This creates a unique challenge for local vineyards. Let's explore how weather affects wine. For wineries, the season to focus on is fall. While climate change causes more extremes in weather, warming isn't something to worry about in Northeast Ohio yet, says Gene Sigel, owner of South River Vineyard. A number of years ago, I remember reading the Farm and Dairy, there was an article that 500 years from now, property along the lake would be very prized. So I don't know that's going to happen in my lifetime. <laughs> but um, as a grape growing region, we're, we're more prepared to deal with hotter weather. Um, because colder weather has been more of a problem. The dipping south of the polar vortex in 2014 left many vineyards in the area devastated because of the frigid low wind chills in the negative teens. You can see that these vines used to have much bigger trunks. These were all cut out as a result of the polar vortex and they were replaced with these trunks that were brought up from the ground and regrown. And so that is a process that's unique to the our eastern vineyard industry and in Europe they often think the best wines come from old vines and old trunks. Well we, we can't really maintain old trunks. We have old vines. The roots and the actual genetic part, these were planted in 2000. That doesn't really make them that old but the, the vine does have parts that are old. It's just not the trunk and the part above ground. So it all leads to the fact that we really are sort of experimental in what we're doing. They haven't been growing wine grapes in this area that long. In the 60s and 70s they introduce them. It does take a year to see everything once. It often takes a decade or two to see all the variability in the weather that you might have to experience. And so we're learning every year um, how to produce better, more consistent wines um, because we are what's considered a vintage climate. On a daily basis, Sigel says he uses this wind machine to control the pooling of cool air in the vineyard, which affects how the grapes grow. Temperatures can vary greatly through the grapevines. I think this is all possible potentially for eastern agriculture because um, we don't need to centralize all the production of wine in one place in the United States and ship it in bottles back here. All of this makes more sense to produce it all over. So hopefully that would be one positive shift. Tune in next Tuesday for more On the Radar with Kelly Reardon. For daily weather updates, head to cleveland.com slash weather.